Case number 2230460, State of Michigan versus Martel Gerard. <clears throat> Sorry, having trouble getting unmuted. Assistant Prosecuting Attorney Morgan Barroso so on behalf of the people. And this isn't Public Defender Kelly Anke appearing on behalf of Ms. Gerard. Can you set your full name for the court? Martel Gerard. Thank you. We're here today for a violation of probation. That is correct. I'm sorry, a violation of bond. Yes, that is correct, Your Honor. Um, we had a chance to talk with Ms. Gerard, and she would like to admit to the drinking alcohol, and I'd like to address that whenever the court would allow me. Can you raise your right hand, ma'am? Do you swear from the testimony you're about to give us the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. Lower your hand. State your name for the record, please. Martel Anthony Gerard. Ma'am, it's the court's understanding that you're going to be pleading guilty to this violation of bond. Do you understand that if you plead guilty or are found guilty of violating your bond, the court can revoke your bond and hold you in custody while this case is pending? Do you understand that? Yes. And is that what you would like to do today? Yes. Has anyone promised you anything to get you to plead to this bond violation? No. Has anyone uh, threatened you? No. This is your own choice? Yes. What do, you, what do you, what did you do that makes you think you violated your terms of bond? I knowingly drank alcohol and I knew I was supposed to. The court will accept the defendant's plea, finding it knowingly, voluntarily made, and with the advice of counsel. Ms. Jenke, we are here now for a second violation for drinking. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Brown had a long talk with Ms. Gerard. Um, she informed us that drinking alcohol and having a sample is a requirement of her job. We advised her that she needs to get a new job. She it's also a requirement of her job, you said? Yes. What is her job? Mr. I'm a bartender slash supervisor. So you're required to drink? Not necessarily required, but it, we are a new restaurant, so we have tons of samples of beer and wine. And You're seltzer. taking samples at 6.26 a.m.? No. Because that was one of your violations. What one? Ms. Janke? Um, we might need a breakout room with her then. We're struggling with that. Um, I don't believe that is a part of her job requirement is to drink alcohol. No, I, I never said that. it was a requirement. Uh, Ma'am, I would suggest you would stop talking. This is her second drinking violation, and I think there is a lack of understanding here, Ms. Jenkins. So I will definitely put you in a breakout room. Thank you. Your Honor, if it would be easier for the docket, you would, if you want to wait to put her in a breakout with Mr. Brown so we could keep no, going. No, you could go in right now. That's okay. okay. Uh, recalling State of Michigan versus Martel Gerard. Assistant Prosecuting Attorney Morgan Burroughs on behalf of the people. And Assistant Public Defender Kelly M. Kidd appearing on behalf of Mr. Gerard. Mr. Gerard, please state your name again for the court. Martel Gerard. Thank you. And Your Honor, thank you for that breakout room. I had another discussion with Ms. Gerard, and we discussed how um, she cannot be working there anymore. We're going to be informed her again to get a new job. She said that she is starting an AA meeting today at 7 p.m., and she also got a Dawn Farms assessment and is on the wait list for Dawn Farms. So we are trying to get this under control so it will not happen again. She's to report to the Washtenaw County Jail to serve two days in jail for the violations. Continue on the scram when she's released. Okay, is it uh, reporting tonight? She yet? needs to report by 6 p.m. today. Understood, Your Honor. We do need to do it just go on that. Will the clerks do that since Lindsay's not here? 
Okay, thank you. And then Ms. Jenke, the only other case that I've left is Mr. Brooks, and then the 11 o'clock are civil infractions. Okay. All right, then. Um, I'm going to hang around and see what happens with Mr. Brooks.